Alright guys, how's it going? Welcome back to some more Dead Cells. I had to take a quick break after uh, the events of the last run. I don't think I will ever be obtaining, or I will ever be obtaining, I don't think I will ever be having a run anywhere near as good as the one that uh, just transpired, sadly. I do think that was the pinnacle of what a run should be, and I uh, somehow messed it up against like the enemies I knew would be the ones to end my life there. Um, in my defense though, I was pressing the B button to dodge away, and uh, he was not dodging. Like I know that they uh, have like, a quick... Uh, small and stun time to them, um, but I feel like the stun had run out by the time I was, uh, I was there, so I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm disappointed in myself more than anything else, um, cause I threw away a run that had like 8 strength and like 6 of the other 2. Um, but that's okay. I kind of want to take the blood shield. Um, but the, uh, the infantry bow proved to be extremely useful last time. I'm also going to keep exploring here, yeah, like in the hopes that I can find some upgrades. Uh, skills upgrade, not the upgrade I necessarily would have liked. Because I don't have any skills at the present moment. But it is still an upgrade. It is still appreciated. I would like to find a store that ideally has an amulet in it. Yeah, that's fine. I do kind of want the throwing knife instead of the infantry bow, though. That one I, I would prefer. Just as it's an easy way to cause a bleed. And uh, if I find a sadist sword, then I do think it will be worthwhile. Obviously, I could just never get the sadist sword. And it will just be, like, literally useless to me. I left a chest somewhere, I thought. No, I guess not. I don't know why I thought I did. Uh, do I want to buy them though? Because I'd rather not waste a whole lot of time here if possible. Um, okay. I kind of want the infantry bow because the infantry bow did so well for me last time. Uh, so I actually will just go ahead and exit with what I currently have. Uh, this time we're going to go ahead and try out um, the ossuary, or I guess <laughs> I guess that we will not be trying out the ossuary. There you go, we're going to go this way, we're going to try out the ossuary. Maybe it's going to, maybe the, uh, the things I'm missing are over here. Oh, there's a shop over here too. And of course instantly I find... <laughs> A sadist sword. Oh man, little little annoying, but overall could have been worse. I guess I'll upgrade the uh, the knife storm there. It's not like it's impossible for me to find throwing knives now, anyway. So that's okay. Um. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Um, I don't know what the appropriate way of dealing with these things is. That's definitely not the ideal way of dealing with anything, though. It's taking a whole lot of damage. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do about them, except for just, like, attack, like, rush in them as fast as I possibly can. I don't have a whole lot of experience in the ossuary, believe it or not. 
This is uh, probably my least favorite of the areas outside of uh, the graveyard, of course. Um, just because every time I come here, I just die instantly. Which obviously is my fault, not the area's fault, but... I also don't know how I'm supposed to deal with the area. So I think it partly is the area's fault. Take him out with the infantry bow. I'm liking the infantry bow. It makes me pretty happy I like got the random bow to start with. Uh, stuff. Because it means I have a chance to start with this bow. Which is pretty good. Those things are just supposed to get dealt with like as fast as I can, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, because these little things are flipping annoying. I have no health upgrades, I have to keep that in mind, so I can't really like take a whole lot of damage here. There's nothing over there. I mean there's like enemies at the top of this that's actually like really bad yeah oh god okay don't worry about it we can we can do this um rapier longbow what's the longbow do if i strike from far away okay oh my god the draw time on this bow is comical. Yeah, no, get rid of that one. I do not like that bow at all. Rapier, I do still believe to be the best of the swords, except for maybe the Sadist sword. If you have, you know, the combo to go along with it. Um, like, if you have the combo I ideally would have had last time, it would have been ideal. Okay. Um. Also, I am a little sad I didn't get really any upgrades last time. Uh, enemy that attacks me gets frozen actually seems really good, uh, but probably not good enough. That amulet probably not probably was not worth it. I just I assumed instantly that it was gonna be one of the damage reduction ones, but there goes that roll again, or the not the roll like the aerial. Things on the rapier being just really bad for me. Right now, I know last time I died because I didn't have any health upgrades, and I'm not picking up health upgrades this time. Just, you know, just ignore that. But <laughs> just don't think about it too much, and all will be good. At least we're getting a lot of gold back from the amulet, so I think the gold will pay for itself. Uh, getting the health increase, like, dropped is actually pretty good. Um, because it means I don't have to feel too bad about not taking the gold myself, or not taking the health myself, instead opting for the uh, strength upgrade there. I can kill them all. Yes, I can. I probably cannot hear, though. Yeah, that one I didn't stand a whole lot of. I didn't have a whole lot of hopes of getting out of that one alive. This is my exit. I don't want to go to the promenade. I also don't want to go to the ossuary. Um, because of how things went last time. I'd rather uh, go to the toxic sewers. I feel like the toxic sewers were good to me the first time. I feel like they could be good to me this next time. We will take the infantry bow, which also throws a grenade. 
This actually won't take me to the exit, it'll take me down to the right. Oh, which is the exit? Never mind. I thought it was going to take me to like a weapon or something. We don't have a whole lot of upgrades exiting uh, the first floor. Not ideal. Is there always- I guess I should have gone to the ossuary just to check if there's always a store. Or always a shop. I guess it's the same thing. Um, because I'd like to know if there's just always a shop if I go down that way. Because if so, then you can kind of actually tailor runs to that pretty well. Uh, specifically like in the situation that I have 8,000 gold to use. Um, I feel like knowing that there's a guaranteed shop is pretty useful. I thought I still had the bow. That's 100% my bad. Or not the bow, I thought I still had the shield. Instead I had the bow. Open the door first and then fight the enemies. It is just gold, there are no blueprints down there. I feel like I already like on got to one of these stores and got the blueprint. There might just be like a one-time blueprint. Is my is what I'm choosing to believe at the moment. A nice skills upgrade over there. Sadly I don't have any skills just quite yet. Uh, hopefully I get some soon though. Uh, hopefully I also find like a hundred more scrolls of power. I thought I was rolling uh, when I got hit there, but I guess I was mistaken. I still like fully believe though that I was rolling. I'll give the game the benefit of the doubt, however. Or the benefit of a doubt. Whatever the term there is, that is what I will be giving the game. That could have been terrible. Two bad runs in the same video is not something I'm looking forward to doing. I will, however, take the strength. Please just hit that. Thank you. Yeah, I'd rather get at least like one good run in. If at all. Obviously getting just one perfect run in. Would be ideal. Uh, but beggars can't be choosers. There's way too many enemies down here. I have to, like, seriously be careful with what I'm doing. I, once again, I'm pressing B so many times and it just sometimes doesn't work out very well. Magma Grenade is actually pretty good if I had other stuff to go along with it. But, like, a standalone Magma Grenade is probably not going to, uh win me this run if I had to guess oh another health upgrade okay so at least we're getting a lot of upgrades I do feel like that is um, because I'm in like the sewers or like the toxic sewers instead of the uh, promenade I think the sewers probably have more upgrades since it is technically a harder area. Or maybe it's not technically, it like, it is harder. Where's this gonna take me? A secret shop? Ice grenade that also gives me plus one to skills. Um, pretty hard to pass up. The issue now is that it's also gonna be pretty hard for me to let go of it. I kind of want the sword because it makes the biters, but I also hate the broadsword, so I will not be taking it. Oh my god, man. Another issue of the rapier, the rapier, is it only hits directly in front of it, which makes those bats 
really difficult to hit. But I do have, you know, grenades that I should be using now. Uh, we will take the damage buffer, even if it's just a base damage buffer. I do think it will be uh, a lot better. Then the magma grenade that I will most likely not use ever. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm starting to think that the... Don't worry about it, just don't get hit by this guy. We can afford one bomb hit, like bomb bat thing hit, as long as we don't get hit by anything else afterwards. Oh, goodness gracious. I like the spiked shield, I don't want to spend money on it. Oh, and we have the ramparts up next. That's also like a pretty tough area, actually. I don't think there's going to be anything else to the right there, but it looks like there's something to the left over here. That I should probably check out. Okay, it's treasure. Treasure's good. Biters, unless they give me a stats upgrade, we will not be taking them. So it was not worth the uh, time investment. And I will most likely be unable to beat the ramparts and like the ramparts and the boss at the Black Bridge in the, under like the three minutes that I have right now. So that time door is probably going to be unattainable, at least at the current moment. Just fill up the ice grenade as much as possible. Uh, Ramparts, I mean, I've, I've played them a lot from <laughs> the, like, the alpha or pre-early access release, and boy was I, like, really bad at them back then. So let's hope I've at least, like, somewhat improved in that time. Upgrade your attack, make your life easier. Skills upgrade as well. I have a lot. Of, oh no, I have not these guys. What happened there? Why did I like teleport? Yeah, the fact like that the weird rapier times so, that like it hovers above the ground. Like if you attack in the air, you like gain height from it. Which makes no actual sense in any way whatsoever. But you know, it happens. Uh, treasure's good. This treasure might not be great. It's not great. Base force shield will probably not beat the base infantry bow. I left a golden cell. I'm not gonna go back and pick it up. It's just 50 gold. That's unlikely to make that big of a difference. Uh, but like this one, I should pick up. Due diligence and all that. Or the shield cast guaranteed to drop cells? No, okay, just making sure. Did we miss it by three minutes? What? That's a, that's a five minute mark? Or no, it's like a, a six minute mark. I didn't know there was a six minute door. That's interesting. That's one I probably should be looking out for then. Uh, because that's the first time I've ever seen it and it, it has left me genuinely perplexed. There's a lot of bats down there. Oh my god, that's a lot more bats than I thought they were going to be. Okay, yeah, we have to we have to do this. To be able to deal with all these stupid What the fuck, dude? How did they hit me when I'm mid-roll? 
I don't actually want the lightning bolt. I was just trying to pick up the other stuff. I will, however, waste time here. Is there a reason for me to be fighting these bats at the moment? No? Should I have done it? No? Uh, am I happy I did it? No? That's just a, like, a whole bunch of bad decisions there. I shouldn't have gone in. Gone in. Like, period. Here we are also not going to go in. Uh, down this way seems to not be terrible this time. I mean, that throat. Look at this, dude. I fucking... I despise these enemies. So much. Like, these specific ones, I still think, have another, like, nerf that should be coming their way for sure. Because they, they either have to lower their damage, or lower their HP, so they're also die to one hit, like all the other flying enemies in this game. I honestly don't understand why those are different. Like, they're... I believe, outside of, like, the ones from the graveyard, they're the only ones that don't just die to one hit. Or like the weird, like, beige colored ones, but those don't deal a whole lot of damage. I, okay, I thought I was over him. Taking a lot of damage right now that I'm extremely displeased with, but those guys put me, I was, okay, like, that time... I think it is undisputable that I was behind that enemy. I was 100% behind the shield guy that time, and he still hit me with the shield bash. That I don't think is very fair. I also however don't think that those guys are very fair. Uh. Fuck, the Magnet Grenade plus one health. It might be better than the damage buffer, honestly. Even though the damage buffer is extremely useful, I think I'm going to pull the trigger on it. Hopefully that health upgrade ends up, you know, being the deciding factor that wins me this run. And not the fact that I basically handicapped myself. Because that's what I did. My eye is extremely itchy right now. Yeah, my eye is very itchy at the moment. Throw the magnetic in there, please. Oh, that guy was literally floating in the air. Just get that guy, like, not attacking, please. There you go. Another carrot. There's a grenade. I still think the infantry bow is better. Hold on, I have to scratch my eye. There you go. Hopefully that's good enough. Yeah, I was just saying, like, I know I haven't used the infantry bow as much, but I do still think it's better. Is this my exit? It is. I'm just gonna take it, honestly. Stats are, I think, are about as good as they were last time. Six four four. I think last time it was like five four five, which is, you know, basically the same thing. I have enough to upgrade this. Might as well do it, and then put the other ones into the ice grenade. Heal up. Try to get out of here as safely as possible. Black Bridge. Boss fight should ideally be very simple, uh, but I, I mean, I can see how it would go horribly wrong, so don't get me wrong. I threw that a second too early. Because this, like, that ice grenade is 
mainly to keep him from being able to rush me down. While, like, while he has that, like, the red thing on him that deals damage to me. I jumped, and, but the delay from the slow caught myself off guard there. Very surprised to not take damage from red. This still holds him in place. Yes, it does. It does not hold him from jumping, however. That's good to know. Yeah, that boss fight at this point is no longer frightening. That's a lot of gold. Oh, yeah, well, because it's 12, so I get the instant 12 things from my amulet. Missed it by 4 minutes. That's unideal. Uh not gonna get to uh, increase it barely missed it now I have to finish a run here I have to finish at least um, the fog fjord to progress which I think I'll be able to finish the fog fjord um, I would like to explore like at least some of it I would also like to pick up an amulet that decreases the amount of damage I take. Like, like this one, for example. Uh, ice amulet. I can jump three times and it reduces damage by 10%. Jumps aren't as important. Actually, in the Fog Fjord, they might be like the most important thing. Yo, you're kidding me, right? With that fucking damage. I'm telling you, this ice grenade costs me a lot more damage than it saves me from sometimes. Which is not what you want to be saying about items you get in this game. Nope. Poisons enemies when I parry. I think it could be useful. Uh, but I don't think it could be useful for me at the moment. out of here. I missed the first one, which is like the most powerful attack. Okay, treasure chest. Please just have a better infantry bow. That's the infinite bow. I mean, I guess it's better just because it poisons my victim. I'm not going to get the cool crits from it, but that's okay. Hopefully I'll find a better infantry bow in due time. Oh my god, I didn't think I was going to be coming back like that. Just keep them all in there. Fantastic. Really well done. Really well done. Anything good down here? I don't... I, I mean... Okay, I'm gonna try for it because it's not very expensive. And it is better. I lose the triple jump, but I don't really care for it. But it decreases the damage by an extra 5%. Which I think could actually make a huge difference. I'm gonna take health that time. Because my health could be in a better spot, for sure. Flying here is costing me to take a lot of damage. Flying is sadly just the fault of the rapier. Um, I don't know if there's a sword I'd rather have right now. Oh great, I found a health upgrade, which means I could have taken strength. We are going to open this, uh, this time, unlike last time, however, though, I will try my best to kill all the enemies beforehand as to minimize my potential death here. Let's go in. A minute 50 to reach the end. That guy almost didn't die. That would have been terrible. 
Okay, this one should be like pretty easy. Obviously, as I say that, it becomes like the hardest thing in the world. Oh my god. Keep them shocked as long as possible. I know that there are two enemies down here as well. I have to do here is not mess up these jumps. This one I'm gonna mess up for sure. I was close. I was so close. I just I don't understand how I'm supposed to dodge those. Cause like if, like if I even think about turning around, I will get hit for sure. Which leads me to not be able to understand what I'm supposed to do afterwards. Nice. Take him out. Is there a reason for me to come in here? Probably not, but let's do it. Because it might be funny. And I would have had to come up this way anyway, so... I thought I threw the magnet grenade. Look at... Yeah, that... I need to get rid of this magnet grenade. I... I, I don't know. I hate to sound like I'm... Um, you know, complaining about something that's probably really good. But I do feel like it causes me to take some, like, very avoidable damage. It might just be my own fault and my own lack of skill. I do understand that aspect of it. But, like, for example, here, I would have been able to move somewhere else. Um, I have to take the twin daggers. They are just... A lot stronger than the rapier at the moment so I have to do it I didn't get a whole lot of upgrades there I think I got two yeah six four six maybe three no I think I got two because like the magnet grenade I don't think counts as an upgrade uh, fill that up fill the ivy grenade up which I haven't seen in a long time we we'll sort of have a twin daggers so might as well upgrade them and I guess I might as well upgrade. Can I upgrade the current bow I'm using? Oh, I can't. I can try though. Almost used all of my health potions that last time. That's not good. And I'm gonna have to hope I get another very good graveyard that I can skip most of it. Because this time I don't feel nearly as confident as I did last time in my ability to kill a lot of these enemies. At least like the critical hit deals a crazy amount of damage. I just have to be able to always get that critical hit. Like, that's, that's, that's another reason why I don't feel like these are going to be as good as the Rapier has been. It's because it's easier for me to crit with the Rapier than it is for me to crit with this. Get out of there, please. Yeah, I'm going to die again. And I fully... Am willing to blame it on the magnet grenade because it, cre it creates such a mess with the enemies but they like are still able to continue to attack me like I feel like if I was even slightly reliably able for it to stop uh, damage or not damage but like motion I think it would be a lot better. Um, but the fact that it doesn't stun or anything, I did find the key again right away, which is great. I'm not sure if I want to move out of the graveyard, though, without any more upgrades. Um, 
That was just unbelievably dumb. I'm gonna blame it on the lag caused by the magnet grenade. That one is just out of hatred. I have to throw one here. I can't afford to kill that guy though. I don't have, like I said, I don't have an as easy of a route uh, by which to dodge those guys. They're not even dodge, but like... I guess more easily avoid. I'm glad I'm getting all these upgrades though, don't get me wrong. This is bad. This is how it all ended last time. Ah uh, yes, I will take the damage buffer instead of the magnetic grenade. I'm losing a lot of health. I, I understand that. Uh, but I no longer have the magnet grenade to worry about like screwing me over. What else does this attack one do for me? It fires a volley. Okay, well, we're gonna upgrade the attack or activate the buffer just in case I needed it there. I'm obviously happy to not have needed it. I have to be very careful um, with where I'm moving because of these like invisible enemies. Like that. This exact same scenario. Why couldn't I hit him? Can I not hit enemies while they are invisible? I thought like a hundred percent I could. Uh, but I guess I can't. And since I know that they're like that stupid combo that would have happened there. Deals about 600 plus damage. I can't risk it. Oh, the crypt. We've done it. We have made it to... Uh, the crypt. I don't have the cells to upgrade anything that I'm currently holding. I don't have a whole lot of health. I don't have the same amount of attack as I did before. Uh, but this damage buffer should be very useful. It's not going to be as useful as the double damage buffer I would have had. But I think any kind of damage buffer will be like of extreme use to me. I mean, I can kind of reliably get the three hit combo to land. If, uh, like, if it lets me, obviously. I do have to make sure I don't get hit by like any of the attacks that this guy throws out at me though. Can't believe I got hit there. I mean I can believe it, I just wish I had it. Activating the damage buffer there seems like a very easy way to keep myself from getting killed. No, 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 no. That went a lot worse. Um, but at least we made it to the Watcher fight. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.